we should be able to cut straight into the action now. That's Liquid versus SG Esports gets itself underway. We'll see what the lanes are going to be as well. At the moment, Miracle looking to take himself up towards the top lane. So is this simply Liquid trying to dodge some sort of lane matchup that could be pretty bad for them to find themselves in? Well, well, I think the Spectre versus Bat matchup is fine. It's not great for Spectre, but it's not awful. But uh, I think you just want to be closer to where the Chen is going to be active so you have that threat. So Spectre can actually farm. Spectre's early game is one of the weakest. Thirty seconds. But she will be what versus the Mirana? There's not the la the lanes from SG are like not super super strong. You're not going to okay. get dominated from the lane. It's not like you're going to be for Survivor or anything like that. So Spectre should be able to have an okay early game, especially with the early poor man shield. And uh, looking to get this matchup down bottom. Obviously, with these movements, we don't him, but so we don't get to the post, so... Well, yeah, it looks like the Brood... They want the Brood bottom. Brood versus Ember is actually not that bad okay. for both sides. But is Brood versus Matt really good? It's not great. I, no. I would say you, will, you ideally want the Brood matchup versus Murana. Murana will just it get dumpstered by the Brood links. There's really nothing she can do that early. You don't have enough mana for Starzone, and Starzone doesn't even do enough damage, even if you have the mana. And this is some very interesting stuff, of course, because Liquid they will be putting mind control on the mid lane this game on the Beastmaster. Really Kuro, just fending off the other core from the south of the jungle. Did get the ball down. Beastmaster is the right click, it's very, very strong level one. It is, isn't it? Well, yeah. 66 and over here we have the extra fairy fuck, 68 right click. But how does he do it? Surely in a lane against the Ember Spirit, there's going to be a bit of... Piece. It was just too beefy, ready to worry about it. His attack animation is really, really good. His attack speed's pretty decent for a strength hero. Top lane. Yeah, so... Two missed stuns there from FG. A nice little juke, to be fair, from Miracle to dodge out the impale from, from the Nyx Assassin. Could have got a little hairy for him up there. Let's have the salve ready, so it should be fine for now. Yeah, he's already front through a fair amount of reach. At least he got pulled a little bit. Once he gets a poor mission again, he should be okay, but... This is where Chen has to direct his efforts. However, they do have a double horse up there, so they will easily see this coming. Across the field, they've got the Hellbear Smash yet. Why didn't he? Getting thrown out of the dagger there. The dagger actually, just like Miracle casted it on the ground, doesn't matter. Uh, either way, because with a free pathing, he just crosses the tree line, takes the first blood. Wow, that was a super greedy play from Mana. He sees the Hellbear running at him, and then he arrows the other Another creep. Yeah. And on top of that, like not only is that a greedy play, you're also revealing the fact that you don't have lead. So it's. level. All top. Hey, here we go. It's all about the long cop. They managed to turn around look for Miracle. Miracle is going up though, looking to, to try and fog them. And in fact, he's going to make it. The other core can't chase that down on his own. And Bardino and Costa Beal have already been fended off by GH and Kuroki. The other core himself in trouble. The Hellbear Smasher ready to give him the clap. The Nyx Assassin just a little bit too quick. will get himself back to safety. The thing about it is, if you trade one for one, let's say did Miracle did die there, you're still completely fine with that. Miracle getting first blood as Spectre, that's just not something that you really bank on in the early game. And if it does happen, you're you're happy about that. And he was low on HP, man, anyways. Whatever, just come back and harass him even more. And this Marana is going to have a, an awful awful start as a result. Yeah, 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 yeah. Control. The other core came across trying to steal that rune upon it. I did manage to grab it, and uh, we'll have to trade a few hits into the other course to send him back off. Mid lane matchup as it's going so far, very even trade between the two, Adriano 14 for 2, and uh, Mind Control slightly ahead, 14 for 5. I don't see that very often. I think Mind Control does switch it up, but in all flame, it's like safe lane. So again, missed stuns here from Theo. Needs to make those connections if they want to have a chance of going for anything. They need that set up for the for the sacred arrow to come through from Costa Beal. Otherwise, it's going to be Liquid getting away safely every time from that top lane. CS though, poor Miracle of course, is, is certainly slowed down. SG managing to keep good control in that regards and, and make sure that their Mirana is ahead of the Spectre's farm for now. Maybe CS wise. I go exactly. Yeah, sure. First blood. SG do have a great observer reward watching the two supports uh, right now, but they are smoked. Looks like we're trying to kill them. 
for Kentucky at number six. And look at the dream kill. Yeah, he's so far up. He is incredible. No, he's he's gonna, not aware at all of this going on. Please, is there going to be any chance of him getting out? And indeed, as you say, still without the level six quite there. He's going to be surrounded. The other core coming in, maybe seeing if you can throw in a stun to help, but it's too late. Liquid get the kill, the rotation absolutely coming in. Right, so that's a perfect time there. Is down. Again, fighting with Dio. Check to get his hands on it. Top lane, this does mean Miracle that he's left on his own. Arrow will connect it from Costa Bill and him. And Bardina bring him down low, but Miracle always got a stick. And it is just enough to keep him alive. Again, Miracle. Just playing around with him there on that top lane. I mean, look at the resources they're throwing at the Spectre too. He's still not there. Yeah, that's really bad because Brew just has, just does whatever Brew wants on the bottom lane. I mean, that's exactly how that lane's looking to be going as well. Yeah, 35 CS at the moment on Matumba Man. Sailing ahead, the bat being no issue whatsoever as it seems. Of course, there's good, good farm as well on the bat, but it's not quite on par. Where's his tower's already down? I mean, yeah, he's got the CS, but he hasn't managed to protect the lane. You could try the creep skip war. Like you'll, you'll sometimes see that in one on one matches where both, both matchups creep skip. Very common versus Dark Seer, but you can't really do that versus a Brood because Brood has an extra summons that can take the tower. And he doesn't even have a Bassy, I believe. Yeah, he doesn't have a facility, but still able to take on the tower very early. Very fast Desolator from the Timmer Man, no doubts about that. He's already got the money for the first Mithril Hammer. Pretty much done. I really don't want him to be able to take this tower down early because, like, the way Brute gets super far ahead is by far the Actually, well, you can get both now, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're going to try coming across looking for him. They do have the dust. Oh, so. But the video just can't get close enough for the stun. He'll stun up the little babies. But he won't get the big one. The action itself is actually going to be up on the top lane where Liquid, they will get the successful gank. They move in, close down onto the Bardino Wyvern, take the kill, and the they just can't catch him at this stage of the game. Not with uh, having the lasso yet uh, available on the Bat Rider, without being able to close the gap on the Nyx Assassin for an initial stun. There's just no chance of catching this Brute. Some people think that Brute should not be able to get away from I think there's pretty much only two heroes in the game that can go this is Mother and uh, Weaver. Weaver, yeah, Weaver does. Weaver, I mean, even even then you like consider getting Tress. Sure. On hero. I guess Brute Mother is something you see face. But, like, he just dodged the gank while slowed by Duz. Right. Oh, Ben. You patch soon. Let's go, Ben. Are you a Brood Sparrow? No. Do you hate Brood? No, my team does when I random it. <laughs> they main mind control. Able to get some good pressure onto this tier one. And there's not really, not really anyone wants to come to this mid lane now. Mind control is pretty scary. Halfway through level seven. Reward. Getting all the farm that he needs. Bottom lane, Adriano's actually hanging out down here. It's a bit of a spooky place for him to be, but with the remnants, one of the only heroes really on the team that can come down here and find something without having the worry of the Timmer Man just destroying them straight away. The Timmer Man, seven minutes in, and he is less than 1,000 gold away from having a Desolator. This is going to be probably one of the fastest Desos we've seen on the Broods. I don't think there's any doubt about that at this rate. And there looks to be very little intention from SG to try and stop him at this stage. Sent a couple of heroes down there. It was not a success. And looks like they're up to not trying again anytime soon. Top lane, again, trying to keep Miracle back from the farm. But as you say, sure, he might not be getting as, uh, as the numbers in terms of CS, but with the first play got the fact that he's not actually dying in this lane. Liquid, they're having fun all over now. All three lanes. So AM was banned in the last... Uh, AM was banned in the last phase, so maybe they're looking for AM substitutes uh, that don't get countered. I think the heroes that counter AM don't counter Spectre, for example, like Blood Secret. Blood Secret is pretty terrible versus uh, Spectre, because Spectre is just yeah. very, very, very tanky, and you can't really man up uh, versus uh, Also, the timing of when Spectre is really strong is a little bit later than AM two pages, so you're not really worried about the game going 15 plus Spectre. Uh, yeah. Longer, longer game goes past 50, the more likely you're going to lose because you have too much farm. So, Spectre just has a different peak and very likely to be buffed in Spanish, so maybe just some premature exploration. Let's see if they can get away with this. Going down here with the smoke. 
basically sending four members down. They really want to try and catch Matuma Man and Adriani on the front lines. We'll see if Matuma reveals himself. The poster now closing the gap. Does dust preemptively, but it's going to be out of range of the spider. And with that already popped, unlikely that they catch him. He's just going to walk past them. The smoke's dispelled. SG find nothing. And Matuma Man will just go back to farming their side of the map. He sees the more pockets. He knows that area is now safe. As they've just all walked past him. Mid lane. Controlling Kuro, have their eyes on Adriano. Might control, he does have oh the, the primal roar that Adriano trying to duke it out there with the remnant back down into the river. But Matuma Man's there as well. Mind control able to close the gap. They do have Moonlight Shadow. Is there any detection on Liquid? Oh, they want a TI, but they don't have detection. <laughs> they don't have it. So SG will get Adriano out there. Really nice moonlight. Saving him from imminent death. Before that, though, the spacing from Matuma Man to like dispel the smoke and still get away safely was very well played. That's kind of exactly what you want. Here, you want this, a player that is able to run. It's probably one of the most important person. Cost of it. He's out of that. I need to surround the miracle. But right now, as you just don't have that many options. Like Spectre is actually quite cheeky uh, with value point and dispersion. He doesn't have that much HP, but you have to consider that like Chen Heal is going to be there. He has dispersion. He has stick. He has uh, he can traverse all terrain. So there's a lot of innate defensive ability. The Spectre. So like, who do they actually gank right now? You want to kill either Matami Man or Brute? You gotta or, kill. I mean, or Spectre, but they can't kill either right now. 10 minutes in, the swimmer man, he has the Desolator on his way out. There's 200 gold away for the Blink Dagger on Mind Control. They but the they blink. do have the Blink on the back. They really need this to work out. They really need to do something big with that room. But if you don't get the Spectre, you have the problem of perhaps the Zero Blink. You have two global abilities that you do need to worry about if, let's say, you get um, a ton of Like one person sees you in, you have Chen Hill, you have the Haunt there, suddenly what looks like an easy 3 for one 4 for one smoke. Just, uh, 10 minutes, you get the Deso on the Spider, you go into the pit with the Chen, and SG, I don't think they're going to be expecting it this early on in the game. This should be a freebie here for Liquid. Liquid is probably one of the best teams in the world at playing keep away, but not fighting when they don't need a fight. So much farmer on the map right now. Oh, here we go! GH! Should be in trouble there. He'll try and hold them back with a quick telekinesis, but the flame guard burns him down. And SG will get themselves on the board with regards to kills. Full sacrifice, power, and Kill. They got, they got so boost. Yes. I mean, in terms of kills, it's, it's been a slow paced game. It's only Nine three to one. Level one is in. Obviously, the, uh, the net worth is uh, definitely the big story. 6k gold lead at the moment for Liquid and showing no signs of stopping. They actually want to fight. You can tell by Spectre's build. Spectre won for her. Uh, so, this kind of phase of the game is a little bit awkward because you have like three mother farming a lot waiting. Uh, she doesn't really need PKP in the end of ages, Something but you're exactly. still like much, much stronger, so kind of want to fight. But, so what does Spectre want? Spectre could aid the brood whether fighting or be the like in turn. So it's like, he will take the former option. Looks like he's going to build a Manta too. Thanks. Chains confuse the bat a little bit. It's not nice. Yeah, it very I don't actually think you care if they jump the Spectre, but I think if they jump the Spectre, they can use fight. But he didn't actually go, go for like a more tanky one. We'll see what later. It's nice as well. I mean, what with the death side, well, you find those solo heroes on the back of the line. Nice reward. Damage out. Really insane. Death side doesn't really help on this much. He's a solo hero, so he does a lot of pure damage. Uh, no, I'm talking about the death side's new skill. Oh, death side. Okay. No, no. The lead here, so once they find that catch with the bat, yeah, these wards, quick, they know that it's coming. I mean, Miracle still chip. They did see this one come through. The arrow combo, not, not quite working out, Ooh, but it doesn't matter. They do end up losing Miracle, but he's going to buy back on the horn, and he's angry. Miracle wants to play Dota 2. 
and he has managed to help take down one. He'll turn towards the poster, they will get the bat as well. And that was the come and kill me Jebate from Miracle. And it seems to prove going to be very effective here for the side of Liquid as they've taken down two, made that three, double kill for Miracle. He wanted to die all along. And come back in and uh, make back the money that he had to expend. Well, not quite, a little bit of a tax. Net worth, but a net exchange in terms of the overall goal, but it really does feel Liquid. They're, they're starting to have a bit of fun. Middle tower. They're playing around. Their spacing was just a little bit off. When they were positioned around the roast, they wanted to actually pop the smoke. Because they had the observer wall right there, they wouldn't be able to see it immediately and then back off or haunt it. Would be they were actually just tying a bit off in their position. I didn't get this here. Kuro and GH, mate. They've just stepped over a little too far here. GH is on his way home and he will make it. Kuro will make it back in a casket. What a bro. <laughs> They're, they're slowing it down. I do like this as well. You know, they're punishing these sort of. And maybe where Liquid's getting a little too comfortable, you saw them come over there. They have got that ward Liquid on the high ground in that bottom half of the Dyer's map, but they end up doing them too good there. To the map. For Adriana, they do have the telekinesis, and in fact, with the Storm Star, it's going to be close. Let's just manage again. Let's do it. has got a completed user blade, though. Oh! Hey, that's not going to save him though if he's been lassoed. They've got the lasso into the stun and with the Firefly, they will manage to pop the Aegis. Killing our second time, that, that's going to be a bit of a bigger ordeal. We'll see if they attempt it. They are going to look towards him. Got the slow from the Wyvern, not quite enough. Arrow won't make the connection. Oh, Courier, well hang on, someone's starting to feed the Courier there. We'll be brought back just in time, watch out. Luffy. So we'll get two cat out of the way. Why you don't play the micro here because he's excellently fit for your own. I mean, that's what it is, you know, when you spawn, you look back at the fountain, you just, you know, click and drag over everything, and suddenly you're, you're trying to get the courier to to poo from throwing it to people. It doesn't work out. Please swap your point every time you're ready. GH. Look at this build on the Ember Script. What, what yeah, the Solar this? Gross. Yeah. Solar Gross. I mean, it's a great item. Yeah. It, it solves this armor issue. That's Ember, probably the biggest one. You always have to build armor. Either Veil, you know, Armor Talent, or Shiva's like this game. But he does have a lot of magic on his team with the Veil, I think it's pretty good. The Evasion, I would say, is much more useful than maybe that Amplified Magic damage. Because it, it does help a lot of respect for people who use Evasion. Out a little bit there, throws it down on secure, and you manage to chop down the chip. It's also really good for, with the electric wire. You always want a solo or a Oh, that's true, actually. And I guess no one else is really going to be looking to find any sort of reasonable yeah. reasonable rate on the side of SG, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And yeah, we're, well, we're still waiting to see really that first first big Winter's Curse. It hasn't really been a chance for a lot of sort of scrappy fights that could split up coming in one by one rather than as a full five map. Um, for a Miracle. This Wyvern's going to need a lot more fun, though. You mentioned he hasn't been able to get any Wondrous Curse, and I think that's going to continue to be a problem because they're going to haunt, they're going to see him immediately, and then they're going to kill him. Or at least the Spectre is. Yeah. And he's going to be alone because he's going to haunt him, so Curse isn't going to really do anything. Oh, this is really not. We've seen the poster do this a couple of times now where he gets the only one to Tumma Man. Tumma Man has been chained, gets healed up by the hands of God, but it's not enough. That's going to be Matumma Man down. The Miracle jumps in with the horn, but now he's the one chained as well. Jump forward from Costa Bill, trying to get the damage through with his boosted attack speed. Bremen in from Adriano. They're actually going to take a second here. SG. They do lose the Wyvern, as expected, as you said, as soon as the Horn comes out, the Wyvern's dead, but SG overall getting two cores, big fight and big pickoffs from the Batrider, the poster, setting up some miracles here for SG. Very greedy build. So, that's a very nice haunt, it actually takes the arrow, so he would have been, like, just super dead, way early. They have a nice uh, set of chainstone on them, and... Chen's all the way on the top side of the map. Probably, pretty much wouldn't have made that big of a difference in the fight because he would have probably just helped kill his teammates with a curse. So not that big of a deal, but like, we be careful not to feed away their super high net worth heroes. Yeah. They also got like one free death because they ate some more. If they don't get this next Aegis, I could see them potentially being in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, 
SG really stepping things up. The money's starting to flow in with Rihanna. It's a risk towards both the Radiance and the Boost of Travel. The other core already in the case for more action. It's up. It usually goes fast. Pretty fast. The Diffusal Blade, very calm pickup, very calm pickup in general, but especially for Snapper to purge off his shield so you can actually kill him. This down bottom, looks like they may have, they did have eyes on the Beast Monster. And back away. 22% passive pull. Nice. That's strong, man. Well played. <laughs> very skilled. Oh, again, man. <laughs> Mad dudes, middle tower, everyone, go, now! Hey, that loser. Exactly. That dying is hard, Owen. That's one of the hardest parts about this game. It is? So Rush is up. They... I would say... Daytime is much better for them than nighttime. Like, nighttime... Everyone's about on even foot, but daytime... Because they usually have the Batrider out in front, I think they can actually, like, haunt in or disable his point before he can actually get the jump. But... G knows it's a big thing. Because... Liquid get the next rule to buy a lot different. To try the Mirror Mind Shadow to make some point for the scan as well. They didn't quite catch Liquid. Liquid themselves on the high ground. They've got the vision onto the other core. Came in for a bit of a scout. And then for the G8. Just the making sure that there's no chance for the to react. This assassin has gone on that round. Probably the SP will look at at least those 20 seconds. Once they're just a four man, they need the full five man ready to tackle any. <laughs> Where Adriano wanted to run and two jumps into the middle lane. In the back of that, they're gonna, they're gonna lose a few more, but you know, trying to hold them back with the Winter's Curse, but Miracle simply walked around the back lines of it. Lose the five man. Little mistakes like that. They will punish them very quickly and incredibly effective. They play very well around the game. They're not actually taking or playing inside the pit. They just know that SG can't allow them to take it. So what they do is sit around the pit with better vision, more sentries, and just jump whomever comes close by. I also think the Solar Crest is much better for like, trying to focus down heroes, but they haven't really gotten to that point yet. We haven't really seen the Zerverman's uh, effect. Game at all. Something bad is happening. Yeah, Inspector is pretty good picture. Yeah, miracle. But the time has got down a couple. He's involved in the final. Absolutely. So, Jealous has been about for him, and the farm continues to roll. It's fun to run around the sky on that aggressive lane to get to try and yeah, that's super unusual in, in, in by itself. Normally you only see it with a witch, but... Jay's trying to go in here with the Stolen Remnant, fam. Will manage to steal the Vendetta with the Raw, they'll turn around and take the Close it does try for the jump, he gets the lasso into the arrow. Have they got the damage to bring him down? No. He's back home safe and sound. Kuro. He's not getting away from this spooky, scary spider. The Timber Man with the Diffuser Blade. In fact, he may not be done. Again, look at the... He wants to go potentially here. Ardino, slowed as well, trapped with the spiders. Double kill for the Timber Again, look at what they're doing. He's playing around the road with superior vision and just letting you know, someone sacrifice. It was supposed to be Rubik who sacrificed, but she kind of outplayed his way out of that. And now SG there, gonna have to deal with Aegis on the Tumble Man, who already does a ton of damage. He's built a fairly glass cannon build with a mask and he does not use the Fusal Trail, so that's no defensive at all. Aegis, yeah, not only that, but being more than halfway, well, yeah, more than halfway towards the BKB. That's a lot of scary items to have on a spider, and SG, question if they were ready to deal with it. They do have lockdown through the BKB, but again, it's, it's really sort of the damage was the issue. Sort of the constant threat of Kuro being able to send people back to safety. They need the Radiance, like, really, really soon. This, this Aegis can do a lot of structural damage. It's still a lot of three though. So what they get away with it, oh, cost of it goes in, jumps out. Mind control. Actually, can't TP here. And 
And for that, he, he's going to be caught out. They'll come into the trees, and they will catch him. Did pop the bots, but immediately decided to stick around in the neighborhood. It does cost him his life, SG. Pick up the kill. They drop a scan just to make sure there wasn't any other members of Liquid in the neighborhood. And it was a total freebie. Liquid themselves were putting some pressure on mid, but nowhere near Mind Control's Beastmaster. I wonder what made him kids was possessed us to do so. I didn't actually see where he was teeping to. I didn't know, I didn't, yeah, I didn't see where he was teeping to. GH, get the catch on to Adriana. Quick slider change to dodge the initial stun from Kuro's creeps. Adriana gets himself out. The other core as well. Starting to get out of there with the Moonlight Shadow. He will survive. SG re-engage on this. This would be ideal for the side if they can. Now look towards Kuro. The arrow doesn't hit Chen, but it hits the bigger target. Gets Matumba Man. Theo with the follow-up. Have they got the damage ball with five heroes here? They sure have. They'll take him down once. Mind Control's come in. With the Horn for Miracle, things just potentially start to get scary here for SG. They're on the retreat, trying to get out of this one. The post is going to be the first to fall. Chains hold back the spider, but SG, they're being slowed up incredibly by this dagger in search for Miracle. I'll look to Remnant out, up to the safety of the high ground. Is it actually going to be that safe at all though? Miracle's just diving, chasing them past the tier pain. Picks up the double as he takes down Bardino. Will give a little bit of mercy to Adriano and Costa Biel as they'll get back to base. But again, as we saw, so hard for SG. Even if in a position there where in most games that would have been a great time to go back in. But when there's a Spectre in the game, things get a little bit different. Yeah, the curse had to be blown very, very early on. But he actually just to run a lot. Just to buy himself some more time. However, I think not very tanky. So the curse isn't actually going to run that long. So, but Top of Man does need to be KB. He's not able to really get what they want. So he spikes the he just dies going in. Very easy to lock him down and prevent him from attacking, prevent him from life stealing. But once he does get KB, he's still going to have to worry about the Hunter's curse. At least Ron is getting, getting there too. What for Maelstrom? Usually it's super useful, but... I think it's something for the Maelstrom build. Yeah, interesting. I was actually looking back at uh, the way the was like, I don't think he does what he's doing much. He normally so so goes for the Manta, Maelstrom, and Dragon Lance. Yeah. 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 A dream catch for SG. In a position around this top one. They catch. Uh, not something that they would Green really want to mess around with. Is about to get knocked over. Over. Radiant Fight structures two. are forced. The pot is down. There's no ages on the brood mother. This is a really good time. Oh, yes. However, the BKB is on. Radiant's top three. Incredible threat. But they also notice that he doesn't have a TP score, so they know that they still have a right. decent amount of time to push forward if they would like. Or take a fight on this side of the map because they're the main option. So much they can do with information. Oh, we do nearly have the Radiant Green song. Dude's top thing he has the Relic. Get knocked over. It was just a few hundred gold away from the recipe. Just, just, just a couple of hundred gold and the Radiance will be done for the Ember Spirit. Radiant top tower is under attack. Ready to go once again, down bottom. Maybe even Fret and high ground. A Bardino, he heads forward, and he's quickly sent back with their liquid. Jump on him immediately, and now they're ready to try and break the base. They did not haunt for that. Yes, but it brings Miracle into a position where he's able to help with his siege onto the high ground. Jump forward from the poser. Gets the lasso, but it puts out the Kinesis. Holds him in place. The Tumba Man's going to be fine. The bat is not. The poser down. SG lose two. Now Matumba, he's ready to dive in. Pops the BKB. Doesn't give a damn about the spike Garifas. The arrow will hold back Miracle. The buybacks do come out from SG, but they've already lost the tier three. This huge onslaught of animals being sent down this bottom lane. Clean up the melee racks as SG, despite the buybacks, are unable to keep their base intact on the bottom. Yeah, I think just 18k gold, 19k in fact now for Team Liquid. Looking incredibly rough for SG. They had some nice little plays this game, but overall it really has been Liquid just being on a clinic, showing us the Liquid we've come to see before TI, at TI, and after TI. Their tower hitters are also really terrible on the set of SG. They have to 5 in a lot because of Desolate and the Haunt, 
but they're gonna lose out on a lot of farm and so push, pushing out. He also went yeah. probably one of the greatest builds possible. <laughs> I mean, and then mask, and then yeah. and then he goes. He's got that suit of music played as well. He wants to do it. He's just going to go in, opens up. There's a shrine. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh, okay. Bardino will live. But Tuma Man gave him the walk away. They're not committing for the final touch. Nah. Well, funny kill. Not a lot was committed there, of course. Too much of an issue here. Not funny to an easy kill from Tuma Man. Vision. Yeah, they say I take it easy slow, fight with the PK Visa, fight with the elements are up, or just fight with the Visa. Let's so, uh, try instead. And SG are really hard to see anything right now. I guess they do have the Radiance up on the Emperor, but that's about it. Exactly. Here's the jump in already. Immediately everything thrown onto the Wyvern. That'll be Bardino down. The person trying to get away. Miracle on the chase. The person trying to get up on the high ground to escape this boat. Oh, does get the lasso off. Doesn't matter though. Too much damage being kicked out from the Spectre. They do turn. Get the arrow connection. Hand of God comes through. It's enough to keep Miracle alive. SG does not find the trade. And the court himself does get the stun, but he has to run. That's all he can do. There's no hiding from this man. Mind control will chase him. He's had the spike out that's mid lane though. A tumba has decided to be the way. He sounds great to say that. That is a huge kill for that's G. Questionable whether it matters in the grand scheme of things, but it's, it's a big kill nonetheless. Okay. He was split. That's good. A little bit of money for both of the courts, but. They just need better, better height. You know, the this is why I say he, he just needs more items. Ideally, I would say Clover Cape because Spectre just generally don't have enough items to carry. And Clover Cape is pretty nice combo sure. for him. But he has got the Diffuser. Yep. Yeah. It's not the rule. Pull me on it. Complete. Put the morale on it. Control and GH, just be a bit careful. Let's look what it is. There's so many stuff going on this time. Better just keep their eyes open. These guys are hot, wars, gen creeks, brutalings. But on the other hand, it's more money on the map. Rest you. There are puzzles. That's it. Next they go, SG very much waiting for Liquid to make a move, to make a misstep. And it's GH. Yes. 600 gold away from a complete dagger and step. And Kuro plays this way more defensive check too. Notice he's had like a back to 2, 5, E, what, 13, 14 kills right now if it weren't for some of the sunbacks. So he's sacrificing his net worth to boost up his others. Okay. Here we go. Wraparounds there from Liquid, they've got a good angle, GH jumping in with the telekinesis to set up, into the start of the stun, cost the build, held in place, Winter's Curse trying to buy him time, but Miracle off the BKB, jumps forward with the horn, they found the Mirana, they're looking for more, once again, Bardino in trouble, but can't embrace himself, it doesn't matter though, the damage still cuts him out from the Desolate, and Kaposa, he is none the luckier, and the third member drops once again on SG, Unable to scratch Liquid's lineup at all. 21k gold lead. The slow of the just continuing. Just way too much vision in the fights. Nice soccer is generally. Despite for this game, there's just so many more things to deal with than a simple old dark mode. Who's the haunt? There's just no. Like, yeah. I would actually say the Batrider played pretty good. A lot of speed. Yeah, gets 
Who jumps on some of that? That's for sure. And then after that, we would just take a take a breath, relax, and we'll get it spread out for some of yeah. yeah. play properly, then you know, she just end up in a really sweet no surprises there at all. This GG is called cool Liquid. We'll take down SG in the best of one. And in, in the expected fashion as well. This was the Liquid that we've come to know oh so well. Giving us this just perfect performance of Dota. They, they know the lanes. They know the game. Kura.